which way he's swimming with him or if he's even swimming at all let's see if he's still got him yeah oh yeah that's a good one y'all oh there's another one on him trying to take it out of his mouth look at that there's three there's three big ones in there what's up people look today i'm back at the water and i'm gonna try something i haven't done in quite a while on this channel and that's go after big creek bass with live bait and we're gonna try to catch our live bait in this creek too so i'm all geared up i'm ready to go stick with me let's get a good one i'm gonna show you guys what i got going on to catch bait so we're looking for like minnows like three four inches long something like that um creek chubs more than likely is what we're going to be looking for um, but we'll take whatever whatever sort of minnow um, i've got really really light set up right here and i've just got like a hook small hook no weight and we're just going to go over here and kind of drift it down this and see if we get any minnows and i've got my bait bucket i've got it tied to a rope just to my bag so you guys can see that it's pretty janky but it works i just grabbed like a stringer just tied it to my boat bag and yeah so it'll float we can just stick our bait in there and so long as we don't lose that we should be good so what i have to catch little fish today little minnows is we're just going to take little bits of these night crawlers just throw them on this hook and uh just kind of bag up whatever we can in the bait bucket this is what we're working with Let's see if we can catch this uh a little chubby a little chubby boy they shouldn't be hard to catch if they're here we just got to find them we got oh yeah that's exactly what we need let's get him back to the bait bucket and we'll try that again that's perfect y'all freaking perfect we'll try not to lose him all right people yep this right here is exactly what i was looking for brought my uh i brought my bait bucket a little bit closer that was exactly what i need y'all so if we can get a few of those we'll go switch up our gear and we'll start hunting for bass that was a good size too definitely not too big what i found is that there's not really a chub too big for bass they really don't care they'll eat any of them so maybe today we'll see that i don't know I might be getting ahead of myself but we're gonna find out here soon what do we got here that's not a minnow that's a bass oh it's a nice little bass man he's fighting <laughs> oh wow come here buddy oh i might need to tighten up on him he's a little bit chunkier than what i what i'm going for but dude that's a good sign he's hefty man a little bit of a worm put them right in the top of the lip too i'll take that man that's a good start i need bait but uh that was pretty fun so we'll turn him loose and get back to trying to catch chubs but that ain't bad results all right buddy Whoop. got another this seems to be a pretty effective method right now you guys so i'm gonna stick with doing this we'll get a few more hopefully we can get this guy inside the bucket try not to lose any baits we catch today give us the maximum potential to catch a big old bass but yeah this seems to be pretty effective right now so we'll do this a few more times and uh that'll be that we've got our live bait we've got like seven chubs or so I don't know if you can see all that, but there's about six or seven in there. A little hard to get, honest with you. A little bit hard to get, a little tough to get. So we're just going to work with what we got. And before I go get my other setup, I'm just going to toss this a little bit. It's like half a night crawler in this deep pool. I just want to do it. Just, just to do it. Let's just see what, let's see what happens. all right <laughs> i just wanted to see i had a feeling that would happen um that's a nice little small mouth man now there are obviously we caught a spot earlier but there's large mouth in here too so 
All right, that's enough goofing around with the worms. We'll get him back and uh, we'll get the bass fishing, like for real bass fishing. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm using to catch bass today with this live bait. We just got my six and a half foot medium St. Croix Triumph. We got a size 2000 reel. We got 10 pound mono on the whole way. And we're not gonna use any weight. We're just gonna use one of these hooks, size two bait holder hook. And I'll show you how we hook them once we get to that part. Uh, but yeah, that's it, man. Super, super simple setup. It's really nothing to fish like this. So you don't have to worry about like, you know, buying any sort of specific baits or I don't know, doing anything really fancy. You just got to catch small fish and feed them to bigger fish. That's all it is. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so I don't really want to waste much more time. Let's just get one in right here and see if we can get a bite right away. I did just catch a small mouth here, so who knows? We're going to put on one of these smaller guys and uh, try not to lose them in the process. But I'm just going to hook them one time in the top of his lip. Just like that. And that's it, man. And we're just going to free line them out there. And if something pops them, we should know it pretty quick. Just one time through the top of the whip, just like that. And that's all it is, man. Just like that. All right, let's get them out there. I'm excited. Make sure my drag's set right. All right, we're just going to pitch them right out in front of us. Just kind of let them drift. And we should know, man, if something grabs him. Oh yeah, something popped him. Something's got him. He's taking off with him. There we go. We got him, y'all, first cast. And he's not a big bass. And I think he came off. He came, oh no, he's still right here. He's just on this. Well, that's not a big one, y'all at all but that was first cast with that chub and we got one so that wasn't a big chub to be fair and i did see one follow him right in but literally first cast that's how quick it can happen boom bro little spot he's little too but uh we'll see if that chub it looks like he's got a little bit of life in him and we'll get him back out there and see if we can get a bigger one bye buddy just like that, y'all. That's how effective. And it's super hot out here, too. This is a really good, like, fishing method for the summertime as well. Just because it's hot. And these bass, man, they're going to really, really like live bait. All right, we're going to save him. We're going to walk down creek and uh, try to find some bigger fish. All right, folks, we're over here at the next spot. I shot a video recently in this area of me fishing with some really, really undesirable baits, in my opinion and caught some really nice fish. So I'll link that video right here and down below. Go check it out. But now we're back, we're gonna throw some live bait in here. I'm just gonna kind of set my stuff up here on the shore. Make sure my live bucket's still behind me. It sure is, it sure is. It's a good thing about having it tied to your bag. You can kind of just set it down and it's good to go. But we got us a minnow still on here. We're gonna try to get him in there, see if we can get bit. Back in there. See if he gets hit. I feel like something grabbed him. Yeah, something grabbed him. I don't know which way he's swimming with him or if he's even swimming at all. Let's see if he still got him. yeah oh yeah that's a good one y'all oh there's another one on him trying to take it out of his mouth look at that there's three there's three big ones in there <laughs> oh let's go there he is and there went my minnow that's a good fish man that's what i wanted to see big spot i've got my drag pretty much set over here for these fish so Got him right in the corner, bro. That's a big one. There's some huge spotted bass in this creek, bro. Let's go. <laughs> I saw three more his size or bigger in here, bro. And he's stuck so good. Got him right in the corner, man. Right in the corner. I got the worst tripod in the world. But there you go, guys. First real good fish on the live bait. That's a good spotted bass for this little creek, yo. Let's let him go.
there's our next live bait people just another little chub i saw some big ones in here so let's see if we can catch another good one just back in there yeah oh yeah just like that see how long that takes he's moving something something might have popped him yeah something's got him There we go, y'all. There's another one. Oh, it's a smallmouth. Oh, there's some big ones in there. That's a big smallmouth, bro. Holy cow. Let's go. <laughs> I at least saw a few more, man. Oh, dude, that, that tree right there might, might be what gets me, but let's go, dude. Only big creek fish. Barely. Barely got them. And I think our minnow's still good be quite honest with you dude let's go get their minnow in the water so we can reuse him hopefully there we go that small mouth got to it before all those big large mouth and big spot but bro we're doing it to him Woo, y'all another nice little fish that's a smallie so we're getting a variety yo this is dope All right, y'all, well, uh, there's definitely a lot of big bass in there, man. There's some big spots in there. I thought the one I hooked was like a three pounder, but there's definitely one in there. So we're gonna try to get him to hit this same chub because it's still got a little bit of juice on it. So we're gonna try to get away from this though because that bout got us right there. That really bout got us. So I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to lose the real big one because of that. There we go. Hopefully I didn't spook him either by going too close. Let's throw him over here in the shade. Hopefully I didn't spook all those fish, man, but I had to get him off the, I had to get him off of that log. Let's see what this does. Just watching for my line to jump, waiting to feel that thump. As soon as we do, we know one's got it. Give him a second and then set the hook. Pretty simple. Gotta be a little patient though, but it pays off when it pays off. Oh. Something got him. Yep. Something grabbed him. Did he turn him loose? Now he's got him. We got him. Come here, boy. That's a good one. That's another good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, these are good fish, man. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a lot like the first one, man, but I promise they're just thick in there. But he's got a gut, dude. Dang, I thought we might have to swap spots, y'all, but probably not. Yes, sir. He's built like a freaking football, man. Right in the corner. Barely on. Yes, sir, dude. We've caught we've caught quite a few fish today, y'all. This is sick. But whenever you come out fishing with live bait, bro, that's what you're gonna get find you a good spot where you know there's gonna be fish take the time catch your bait and you'll have a good day hey man we'll take it not bad for the creek i don't know if y'all can hear me but we're catching them let's let them go <laughs> there he goes all right who's next we still got a few baits left y'all so this is working we got some big ones left. Let's grab a big one. Let's just see if they want a big one. He's pretty big. Oh yeah. Oh, something's got him. There we go. got the tree too Duh. I had the two hand set that one I knew it'd be a good one there we go don't go into this tree don't go into this tree there we go oh yeah there's another good one there we go baby another good fish y'all 
Not a good one. There we go, y'all. Another big old, big old spot, dude. That might be a large mouth. No, it's a spot. All right, let's get them undone and let them go. Dude, we're just gonna keep fishing our little honey hole and uh, get back to it. All right, bud. See you now. There he goes. Bro, we're getting freaking demolished over here with some good fish, man. This minner still might be okay, believe it or not. So we're gonna pitch it back in there and see if we can get another bite. Usually whenever they start turning really pink, they're not really good anymore. But he's still he's still pretty lively, man. Somewhat enough. So see if we can get another another fish on this guy. I don't know if something's already grabbed him or what. I don't think so. There, now he's got him. Something's got him now. There we go. Dead gum, dude. There's just they're just loaded in here, man. This is one of the best bass days I've had in a long time. God, and they're all just so good. Ah, oh, come here, bud. That might be the biggest one. Is that a large mouth? I don't know. <laughs> Dad gum, man. Just another really, really nice fish, dude. Really, really nice. <laughs> We're gonna let him go. He might be the biggest one. See a bud? Back in there. We're gonna get us another chub on, man. We got like one or two more. And uh, that's it, y'all. We've had some good fishing, man. Some real good fishing. All right, people. This is our last minnow. Let's get him out there. Make it count. I think there's at least one more fish out there because I just lost my, my, the minnow I had before this just got ripped off. So hopefully there's one out there. It's willing to hit. Tighten down on this drag a little bit. So we don't, so we don't miss them. Just like that, dude. Come on now. Come on now. That was perfect. Something's got it. He's got it, y'all. There we go. Oh, God. There we go. Come on. Come over here. Barely got him in the bottom of the lip, yo. Barely got this fish. And they've just all been slobs, dude. They have all been slobs. Look, <laughs> I'd say that was a good way to spend our last minnow. And look at how we barely got that fish. Y'all see that? We barely got that fish, dude. Boom. Dude, this is one of the best days of creek fishing I've had in a long time. I don't use live bait a lot because like, I don't want to spoil myself and I like, making fishing a little bit challenging which using hard officials a lot more challenging than this but man it's cool in its own way and i love it that spot back there is loaded loaded with some big old fish beautiful man beautiful i'd say that's a good one to end it on that's a nice one man they've all been big all of them for a creek these are big fish at least for my area i don't know about yours but i'm happy with that dude Super happy. Let's let this big fella go. Boom, baby. Yes, sir. See you later. I wouldn't be surprised if there was 10, 15 more fish just in that little area. That's unreal. Unreal. All right, folks. Well, uh, I'd say that that was a, uh, a success, man. That was freaking sweet, dude. I don't do that a lot, but when I do, that's usually how it goes. So find you a creek get you some chubs, throw them on a little hook, boom, baby, you got some bass. Really not that hard, you just gotta go out and do it. But I uh, hope maybe you learned something from this video. This is how I like to fish for bass with live bait. You can do it a million different ways, but in a creek, that's how I like to do it. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you wanna see on this channel. Leave me a like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Y'all take care.